Now consider it, consider the following details. That is, the names of the students are given in first row, six student names, and then their marks is given in the second row. Now we have to sort the uh, student marks from the lowest to the highest. Here we observe the distinct marks are 10, 20, and 30. So when sorting, uh, let's say we can have the following orders. Here F, A because both have scored 10 marks. And then we can have C, E both have scored 20 marks. Then B, D, right? And also other possible output is A, F, and then C, E, B, D. Okay. So this sort is said to be unstable. That is the algorithm used for this is called the unstable sort and this is called stable sort. Why? Because F and A, they do not occur in the same order as in the input. Because in the input, A comes first and F comes next. But here in the output, in the sorted form, F comes first and A comes next because it is the reverse of the input order. So this sort is not stable. But considering this, A is appearing first and in the sorted format also A is appearing first. And then F, F is appearing next that is for the students who have got 10 marks. The students who have got 10, 20 marks is C and E and they appear in the same order. And then the students who have got 30 marks are B and D and they also appear in the same order as in the input. So, stable sort is one which preserves the order in the initial format, that is in the input format, in the sorted format also. Thanks for watching guys.